before you go off and get one of these, you might want to consider one of these. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Big and Nice Game Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Extra Rich. What's going on? What's going on, everyone? So today, <clears throat> what I want to do is, I don't know if it's like a like a tribute, a send off, um, maybe even just like a little bit of a list um, of reasons why it's, you know, you still should should consider the OG Evercade handheld. This little guy right here. You know, here it is. Little, little Katie guy here screaming, don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. I know the EXP is cool, but no. You know, <laughs> you know like that, that kind of thing. You know, I, I just, you know, I, I've got this little box. I've got this box right here, right? And in it is tomorrow's video. And I don't know, maybe I just felt a little nostalgic. I just want to take a couple minutes going over uh, five things that I think um, – could be reasons why you'd want to still consider the OG handheld as a handheld for you. Um, <clears throat> it's just a thing. It's not like necessarily like, oh, stop the presses. I don't want my EXP, you know, like, you know, or, or stop the presses. You know, the Blaze is making a mistake. They shouldn't go to, you know, go for it. Of course, of course, that's not what this video is, but it is just kind of like a cool, like, look back. Like, are there redeeming qualities still right now? Like as the as the EXP is coming in, are there redeeming qualities about the OG handheld where you can you, you can look back and go, you know what? Yeah, you know what? It's still pretty pre pretty cool. It's still pretty. And and and, you, and I actually might want to have one. So let's let's go through. Um, my reason number one is it's still a great value. You know, like so at 150 bucks for the EXP standard with IRAM, you know, and Capcom. That's pretty awesome. You're getting a brand new handheld. You're getting all that kind of stuff. Um, but what if you were looking for a little bit more and you just, for whatever reason, you couldn't get the extra 30 bucks to, to get to um, to get to the, uh, the EXP, but you had like 125 bucks, you know, like plus tax and all that stuff, of course. Um, but you could do that. Well, for around that $122, $125 dollar mark, you could get one of these, the OG, right, in the premium pack, which actually I have in my box right here. I should just grab it. You can get one of these, the OG handheld in the premium pack with Atari, Namco, and Interplay off of Funstock in the UK, or Atari, Interplay, and Data East, I think, um, for the, the US. Um, you know, and now you're getting three collections with your handheld instead of the, the two, the one digital and the one uh, cartridge based. And, you know, these are great. These are great collections. Atari one is a great, you know, it was just in that list yesterday. Um, Namco museum one is awesome as well. Um, and enterprise got some cool stuff too. You know, got your earthworm gyms and all sorts of other fun, fun things and fun times and all that kind of thing. But, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I think it's, it's one of those things where, you know, it's, it's a, it's a talking point there where you could say, Hey, you know what? it is still a great value and you it should, you know, should consider uh, doing that. Now, why else is the OG handheld another cool uh, thing to have? Well, it does still work with 37 plus collections. Now, we don't know when they're actually going to pull the plug on uh, compatibility for cartridges. You know, everything that is out and everything that is coming out um, right now in, in as, ter as far as uh, IRM and total plan, uh, are concerned, they're going to work in the OG handheld. It's not like there's like, oh, well, you got to do this for the EXP. Um, so these collections are still working. So even if you had your OG handheld and you can't get the EXP right now for whatever reason, or if you got in the limited edition and you're and you're like, oh no, I don't have my my limited edition EXP. What am I going to do? Well, you still can play. You still can play some some uh, some cool collections. Um, and uh, you know that, that's pretty that's pretty awesome. And when 30, 37 plus collections, it's over like 380 something games or something like that. Like, I don't know how the math works out. It's just an insane amount of games uh, that you could play. That's a complete library, right? The world of Evercade could stop right there. And it's still an excellent, excellent, um, you know, set of games. And it's an excellent uh, value. So, you know, there you go. 
So there's there's that other point. It's also it's great for the kids. You know, like I've got I've got two. Um and while the, although I don't want them necessarily grabbing my EXP and running around with it, I have no problem handing them in the OG handheld. I've got a couple more in, around the house, but um, you know, I was just like, okay, yeah, here, have have the OG handled. If if something happens to it, um, you know, like you go on eBay um, and pick up, you know, like used like handheld onlys for 50, 60 bucks. You know, like that's awesome. I forgot to mention that in the great value thing because like if you just wanted to, to just a throwaway thing, just to have around. Um, yeah, the EXP is the one you want on the couch, or if you're going to take a really long trip and you want the better screen and you want the the Wi-Fi ability and all that kind of stuff and the extra features and the hidden games. Okay, cool, great. But still, you know, if uh, you know, if if your if your son, daughter, whatever, just wants to like sit around and play some, um, it's a great thing to just here. Here you go, pick a collection, and you know, you're off and running, and you don't have to worry about them. It could, it could drop. This actually is pretty pretty stable it's pretty sturdy and it has been dropped outside in the uh in the living room um by some of the young ones and it you know it's it's a it's a sturdy it's just sturdy device so um and they're not necessarily worried about all the other extra features they're not worried about wi-fi updating they're not worried about um you know the ips screen and the better viewing angles and all the other kind of cool stuff that's going to be on uh the exp like you know like the, us the, the fans really want um, they just want to play the games. They want to hit the buttons and play the games, and this will absolutely suffice. Um, <clears throat> speaking of its, uh, you know, stability and everything, it is still a solid device. Um, you know, the the OG handheld, you know, even with all of its updating, um, is an actually really, honest to goodness, really awesome device. Um, I still play it to this day. I played most of the renovation collection out on the couch on this. Now, yeah, okay. Now that it, now that the EXP is a thing, am I going to be probably putting that in most? Is that going to be my daily driver? Yeah, you know what? Probably, but you know, still, if battery runs out and I'm still in a mid session or whatever, save that game, pop it right in, let's go. You know, and then I'm I'm off to the races still with my my OG handheld. And like I said, it is like really sturdy, really like that's the other thing I want. I'm I'm eager to pop to, you know, get into that box and open it, but. Yeah, like I, I really want to know is it actually, you know, like do they does it still feel as sturdy um as as this handheld? And like I said, it's been bopped around, thrown in bags, you know, dropped on the floor, like that kind of stuff. And it's still ticking, you know, this this one. Um, and so so is all my others. So like, you know, build quality on this thing is really awesome. Um, and it still feels great. So anyway, and last but not least, it's gonna get a great send-off. You know, there is going to be this, like, you know, I don't know what it looks like, but there's going to be a final update um, to the Evercade handheld that's going to give it all of its abilities and, like, you know, like uh, maybe a couple of cool features, maybe even a hidden game. Um, and, uh, you know, and then, you, you know, then that's it, right? Then, you know, they're not going to support it, um, you know, outside of maybe, like, some big security thing or whatever. They're not going to support it anymore a after that. Um, but that's really cool. Because, you know, Blaze could just as easily say, oh, well, you know this thing? Oh, well, we're on the EXP now, so pff, see ya. You know, just toss it right in, you know, right in the bin. Um, but they're not doing that. They're actually going to make a you know, specific uh, firmware to give it some cool features and then, you know, say, hey, you know, it's been real. Thanks for the two years. You know, uh, see you guys later. So that's really cool. Um, and if you have one of these OG handhelds, when you do update it for the last time you get to experience like what what do they mean by a cool send-off what are they what are they going to do um it's really neat it's really really cool so with all that being said yeah i just wanted to make this cool video um and and talk about these these uh these things what do you guys think about about that my my uh my 10 minute ramble here about the og handheld um is it uh you know is it something that you're going to be looking back fondly on is it something you're going to miss um, is it, uh, you know, is it something that you still would recommend to other people, um, to, uh, to get in, in lieu of, uh, an EXP? Um, let me know down below in the comments. I, I just, I just thought this was a cool, a you know, fun little video idea. Um, I was hoping that the delivery for the, the, uh, the EXP that's sitting right next to me was a little bit earlier and this would have been the unboxing and then maybe I would have done a fun for five for Capcom tomorrow, something like that. Um, but you know how it is, you know, you gotta, you gotta roll with the punches. Um, but, uh, anyway, 
thanks so much uh, for watching this one. And please get in those comments and, and talk to me. I love hanging out with you guys. And until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Ooh, tomorrow, the unboxing. Very excited. Let's go. rtsc.bakenicecream.com